Hello everyone and welcome to this guitar tutorial for the song Bini Bini by Zach Tabudlo. So first of all I would just like to say a quick thank you to this person right here for suggesting this song for me to teach. Thank you very much for that. And before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that you guys will be able to stay updated for my future videos. So with that said, without any further ado, let's just go and jump right into it. Okay, so as far as the chord progression goes, there's basically only two sections from this song. And the first one that I'm going to teach you guys is the chord progression that we're going to use for the verse, chorus, as well as for the solo section of this song, which is going to be this one right here. And the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the F major 7 chord for 4 counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically you're just going to press the 1st fret on the lower E string, the 2nd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, as well as the 1st fret on the B string. And as for the A string and the high E string, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case. And as for playing this chord for 4 counts, the plucking pattern that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. And to do that, basically we're going to be plucking the bass string first, which is going to be the lower E string in this case. And then the D string. And then the G and the B strings all together. And then the bass string once more. And then the D string, lower E string, then the D, G, B strings all together, and then the lower E string. And that's going to be our F major 7 chord for 4 counts. So once again, it's going to be like this. Yep, and the next chord that we're going to play is going to be the G minor 7 chord for 4 counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically you're going to press the 3rd fret on the lower E string, as well as the 3rd frets on the D string, G string, and the B string. Yep, so it's going to be 3, 3, 3, and then 3. As for the A string and the high E string, these are also going to be dead strings are not included in this chord sheet. So once again, with this chord also being played for 4 counts, we're also going to be using the same plucking pattern as before. So it's going to be the B string again, which is going to be the lower E string, then the D string, G, B strings all together, then the bass string, then the D string, bass string again, then the D, G, B strings together, and then the bass string. Yep, so by what we have so far, it's going to be B, Ni, B, Ni, So it's going to be like this. The next stop is going to be the A minor 7 chord for 4 counts. Now again, this is basically just the exact same chord shape as the G minor 7 chord, but we're just going to be moving this entire chord shape up to the 5th fret. Okay, so that's going to be 5, 5, 5, and then 5. As for the A string and the high E string, once again, these are going to be not included or dead strings in this chord shape as well. So once again, with the chord being played for 4 counts, it's also going to be like this. So you... And the next chord that we're going to play is going to be the B flat major 7 chord for 4 counts as well, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, we're going to be pressing the 1st fret on the A string, 3rd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, as well as the 3rd fret on the B string. And as for the high E string and the low E string, these are not going to be included or dead strings in this case. Yep, so it's just going to be 1, 3, 2, and then 3. Yep, so once again, with the chord being played for 4 counts, the plucking pattern remains the same, but in this case, our bass string is going to be the A string this time. So it's going to be the A, D, G, and B strings together, then the A string, then the D string, then the A string, then the D, G, B strings all together, and then the A string. Yep, so all in all it's going to be like this. So once again, we're going to be repeating that entire chord progression, starting from the F major 7 chord for 4 counts, up to the B flat major 7 chord for 4 counts, one more time, so it's going to be like this once again. Yep, 
And that's basically it for the verse, chorus, as well as the solo section of this song. And once you've managed to figure it out, it should be sounding a little bit like this. <laughs> Okay, and as for the pre-chorus section of this song, the chord progression that we're going to use is going to be this one right here. So the first chord that we're going to play is going to be the D minor 7 chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger to bar the entire 5th fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 6th fret on the B string, as well as the 7th fret on the D string. Yep, so that's going to be 5, 7, 5, 6, and then 5. And as for the lower E string, this is not going to be included, or a dead string in this case. And to play this chord for two counts, we're going to be only doing the first half of the plucking pattern that I've taught you guys earlier. So it's going to be the B string once again, which is in this case going to be the A string, then the D string, then the G and the B strings together, and then the A string once again. And that's going to be your D minor 7 chord for two counts, so basically it's going to be like this. Yep, just like that. Then the next chord that we're going to play is going to be the C7 chord for two counts, which is going to be like this. And to do this chord, basically we're going to be using our index finger once again to bar the entire 3rd fret, starting from the A string down to the high E string. And as for the rest of the chord shape, it's going to be the 5th fret on the B string, as well as the 5th fret on the D string. So all in all, it's going to be 3, 5, 3, 5, and then 3. And as for the lower E string, this is not going to be included, or a dead string in this case. And as for the plucking pattern for two counts, it's going to be the same thing as the ones that we did earlier for the D minor 7 chord. So it's going to be the A string once again, then the D string, then the G and B strings together, and then the A string. That's going to be your C7 chord for two counts. So by what we have so far, it's going to be like this. Yep. The next chord is going to be the B flat major 7 chord once again for four counts this time. And for this one, we're going to be doing the entire plucking pattern. So it's going to be like this. Yep. And just piecing that all up together, it's supposed to be sounding a little bit like this. And once again, we're going to be playing the D minor 7 chord for two counts, and it's going to be like this. So once again, same plucking pattern as before, B string, D string, G and B string together, and then the A string, then moving on to the C7 chord for two counts. Then the B flat minor 7 chord for 4 counts this time, it's just going to be like this. Now this is just basically the exact same chord shape as the D minor 7 chord that I've taught you guys earlier, but we're just going to be moving this exact same chord shape from the 5th fret down to the 1st fret. Yep, so it's going to be 1, 3, 1, 2, 1. And as for the lower E string, this is not going to be included or a dead string in this case. And for this chord, the way that I like to do it is to just do this. Which is basically just going to be plucking the bass string, D, and the G, and the B strings all together. Just doing it like that. Then holding it for four counts. Just to have that bit of like dramatic effect going on when you start to sing or play this song. And yeah, this is going to be your B flat minor 7 for four counts. And once you've figured that out, it should be sounding a little bit like this. <laughs> So yeah, this is the end of the guitar tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this far into the video. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed it to let us know. And please once again do not forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell down below so that more of you guys will be able to follow. So if you guys would like to watch another guitar tutorial of mine, just click right here. And if you guys would like to watch my guitar cover for this song, just click right here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.